Reports have come out recently that Dion Waiters already received the meeting with the Lakers last week, and now he will be receiving a second meeting next week as well. It seems like the Lakers are really taking a potential Dion Waiters signing into real consideration, and it makes sense given their lack of go-to bench scores and shot creators on their team. However, I think whether or not Waiters signs with the Lakers depends on one key factor that many people are forgetting about. So, let's go over what this decision maker is, and how I think Waiters would fit with the Lakers if he does in fact sign with them. And very quickly before we get into it, if you want to see more interesting NBA content just like this, be sure to drop a like and subscribe as I really do appreciate all your guys support, and it really does go a long way into helping this channel grow. So what I think is critical in the Lakers' decision in potentially signing Waiters is if LeBron decides to agree on it. It seems that LeBron and AD have huge impacts on the Lakers' signings and moves, as we saw with Cousins last summer. Many people have forgotten that Waiters actually played with LeBron back on the Cavs in the 2014-15 season, and that obviously didn't work out with Waiters eventually getting traded. With the Cavs, Waiters struggled off the bench for the team, and his huge ego hurt him for making a truly positive impact for the team's second unit at the time. Before the 2014-15 season started with the Cavs, Waiters actually said that he was trying to work on his game to be more like how Dwayne Wade was when he was playing with LeBron on the Heat. Of course, it's great that he was trying to improve his game, but the fact that Waiters actually thought he was going to be the second go-to guy on the team at the time over Irving and Love was just insane. So, the Lakers are going to see through these interviews if Waiters' big ego is in check, and if he can actually buy into being a spark scorer for about 15-20 to 20 minutes per game. If they think so, the key decision maker would be LeBron, as he would have the final word on the Lakers potentially signing Waiters given his past experiences playing with him, and his role as a leader on the team. So if Waiters does in fact sign with the Lakers, I think he will be a great fit with the team if he has his head on straight. Their bench is still lacking a consistent scoring option, as Kuzma has been way up and down the season with struggling to beat a third score the Lakers need to help run the second unit. I think Waiters could be that guy if he can stay focused and give 100% effort on both ends of the floor, as when Waiters is on, he's a great scorer who can put up points in a hurry. He's a versatile and crafty scorer as he can create his own shot in ISO plays, but he's also solid as a spot up shooter as well. His ability to create his own shot will be very useful especially in the playoffs, when teams tend to play in more isolation sets and Waiters would thrive in bailing out the Lakers second unit with tough shots if they can't get anything going. I think Waiters can have a positive impact for the Lakers off the bench, and I think it will be a smart move for the Lakers to sign him to either a 10-day contract or a non-guaranteed deal for the rest of the season and see if it pans out. So that's a wrap, thank you all for watching, if you guys did enjoy this video and want to see more daily NBA content just like this, be sure to drop a like and subscribe and also be sure to turn on post notifications so you can stay updated on this video will be coming out. Also, be sure to follow me on Instagram and hit me up if you want to talk about basketball or business. Just drop a comment down below on my photo or DM me and I'll definitely try to get back to most of you guys there. Drop a comment down below if you think the Lakers should sign Dion Waiters. Why or why not? Let me know as I do all comments. I'm definitely interested to see what you guys have to say here as well. So, with all that being said, once again, thank you all for watching and hopefully I will see you in the next video. Peace.